Hi, I'm Leo from SASH, and I'll be talking to you about HIV testing. As some of you know, HIV is a virus that spreads through body fluids, sexual activities, and other factors such as needle sharing. Many people are living with HIV but don't know that they are because they haven't taken an HIV test. It is so important to test for HIV as there is effective treatment, which if taken as prescribed, means people living with HIV can live long and healthy lives while reaching an undetectable status. This means that it cannot be passed on, even during unprotected sex. If left untreated, it can develop into a more serious health condition, so testing for HIV early on is crucial. Today we're going to show you how to perform an HIV test on yourself from the comfort of your own home. The great thing about test at home kits is that they don't require you to go to a clinic. You can do the test yourself in a space you are comfortable and familiar with at a time that works for you. You can get a test at home kit from a sexual health clinic or you can order one online free from Sexual Health London who will post it in discreet packaging to your chosen address. The HIV test in a test at home kit is a finger prick blood test and looks like this. They have a small needle inside that when you push the safety needle against your finger, it releases the trigger and will give you a small, quick finger prick, allowing you to produce a small amount of blood to use for the test. After opening the box, wash your hands of warm water, then unpack the kit on a clean surface to ensure no foreign bacteria contaminates the test. Once that is done, use the alcohol wipe to clean one of your fingers. This ensures that your finger is clean and prepped, ready for the test. Once you're done with that, just let it dry. Now, we'll place the safety needle on the finger and push firmly to activate. The needle activates once. You'll usually have two spare safety needles in case you need to try other fingers if that first finger doesn't work. Now you can open the tube by twisting the top off. Gently massage the finger from the base to the tip by using a milking motion to allow drops to fall into the tube. If you are unable to collect enough blood, you can use one of the spare needles to try another finger or two if needed. Fill the tube to the upper line on the side which is marked 600. The test may not be successful when it samples below the 400 line. Once you've filled the tube to the upper line, tightly press the cap onto the tube. Please wipe any blood from the outside of the tube. Then place the tube into the transport pack. Make sure it's secure. If your kit has other STI testing samples, make sure to complete those and fill out any paperwork, such as the date that you collected your sample. And that's it. You've completed the sample needed to test for HIV. Once you've completed your testing kit, you simply seal it ready for posting and take it to a post box where you can drop it in and send it off for free. No need to purchase any postage. Your samples will then make their way to the lab to be tested. If everything comes back negative, you'll get a simple text telling you so. If anything has come back positive, including the HIV test, then you'll be contacted about the next steps regarding your test results. Here at SASH, we provide support for those living with HIV, whether you've been recently diagnosed or have had HIV for longer. SASH provides free counselling, coaching, peer mentoring, where you can use your own lived experiences to help and support others, as well as trainings, workshops, and even socials with others who use the service. SASH is here for you because everyone is entitled to good sexual health.